I've been quarantining with my wife and as of 13 days ago, my newborn baby daughter. Uh, we spent months preparing for her arrival, you know, uh, setting up her room, buying baby clothes, watching videos and reading books on what to expect. But honestly, nothing could have prepared me for those first few moments seeing her uh, in the hospital. Uh, the, uh, the sense of pride for what uh, my wife and what my baby just went through, the uh, sense of relief that they were both okay, and the sense of wonderment at uh, human creation. It was just, it was just indescribable. I haven't learned a new hobby per se, but I have had a chance to reacquaint myself with an old hobby being uh, playing the violin. I've really enjoyed being able to uh, learn new pieces and to play some old pieces that I hadn't picked up in a while. And I've also enjoyed uh, performing for uh, my baby daughter. Right now, I'm currently reading a book by Frederick Morton called Thunder and Twilight. It's about Vienna in the early 20th century, and Frederick Morton does a great job of capturing the Viennese spirit. It was a crazy time in Viennese history, tons of artistic and intellectual movements happening. Um, my parents and my family live in Vienna, and they had originally planned to visit us uh, during, this, um, during this time, and obviously that's not possible anymore, but reading this book, makes me feel closer to home. The imposition of working from home has forced the legal community to become more comfortable with various remote communication technologies like Zoom, like Skype. Um, and I think that has really helped um, us as a profession cut costs and communicate more efficiently. Um, that's something that doesn't necessarily have to end when quarantine stops. And I think that our clients in the profession at large would benefit from its continued use. So I really hope that the profession does continue to use those technologies going forward. Honestly, I miss the impromptu conversations that I have with my colleagues at the office. We do a, a good job right now of having weekly meetings uh, and setting up meetings when we need to for file specific purposes but I do notice that we haven't had as many off-the-cuff conversations even ones that aren't necessarily work related and I look forward to having those again once, once that's possible. Just over the weekend my wife and I watched a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie called uh, Maximum Risk. We enjoy his movies on an almost ironic level just because we don't find him to be a particularly good actor and he honestly says very little during his films probably for that reason but there's a ton of action and it's just hilarious to uh to watch the antics that he gets up to and yet maintain a relatively serious demeanor so we've been enjoying yeah silly action films like that Uh, hands down, the Negroni. Uh, before we were expecting, we had planned a trip to Tuscany this summer. That's obviously off, off for uh, several reasons, but uh, when I drink a Negroni in the sun and I close my eyes, I feel like I could, you know, I feel like I could be in a piazza in some Tuscan hill town. Uh, so, and they're, they're just delicious.